you guys up, this is Joshua or about to see one of you guys' tutorial that you might not have expected from me. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an awesome uh, dark grunge material in Cinema 4D. Uh, our example here is going to be this one that is in the, in the render view right now. It's our logo if you didn't know, made by uh, Rackle. He isn't around anymore, but we've been using it since the start of our channel. So yeah, um, I'm basically going to be showing you guys how to create this material from scratch with uh, some stocks in my own uh, Abstract V2 uh, pack right now, which will be released soon. Uh, I'm going to ask for 150 likes on this video again, and uh, with that I'll give you guys a mystery uh, giveaway. Not sure what I'll do, but um, it'll be cool nonetheless, and that's just a thank you for 150 likes, and I thank you guys for supporting our videos. So let's get right into it. We're going to double click on our material uh, editor. We're going to double click on this new material. Uh, I'm going to change the projection to a object GI and then just tilt it a little bit. Just like I showed you guys in my other uh, tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to color. We're going to change it to a layer. Go into the layer. We're going to go to image and we're going to grab this grunge material. Uh, image path, whatever. And since this is going to be the base of our uh, material, what we're going to do is we're going to leave it how it is right now. And we're going to actually go in and we're going to create a noise shader effect. So we're going to make a new noise. We're going to click on the icon here and we're going to change that noise to electric. Then we're just going to hit the back arrow and we're going to change this projection path to a soft light. And with that, what we're going to do is we're just going to leave it like that and we're going to go to our image again. Create, or we're going to grab our 3D paint material 1, create the projection path, it doesn't really matter. We're going to put this on multiply, and we're just going to leave it at 100%. And what multiply does, if you didn't know, it gets rid of the white spaces, and leaves you with the saturated or black. And we're just going to leave that how it is. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to effect, hue, sat, and lightness. Change the hue to negative 180, and the saturation to negative 30. Next what we're going to do is we're going to make a distort effect, so we're just going to go and click on distort, and we're just going to leave it at the default setting. I thought it looked best. It isn't boxy or anything, it just pushes it up and swirls it around a bit. It looks really cool. And last but not least, we're going to grab another image, the abstract white yada yada yada. Uh, it's basically just white paint spiders on a rock, and what we're going to do with this is we're going to put it on dodge. Uh, just dodge, not burn and we're going to put it at 10 percent just like that so now we have our basic uh, layer for our material it looks pretty sick what we're going to do with it is we're going to go back to color and we're going to uh, copy the channel we are go to diffusion and we're going to actually end up pasting the channel and my settings for this is a 47 percent brightness and a 50 percent mixed strength it's kind of half and half it looks really nice then we go to luminance, and we are going to actually paste our layer this time. We're just going to change the brightness to 6. Just like that. And then next is reflection. We're going to make a Fresnel. And what we're going to do with this now is a 2% brightness and an 18% mix. And what that does is just adds a little bit of uh, reflection at the tips of our object. Uh, se or not second, but next is a bump, and we're just going to click it, and we're going to end up pasting our channel into this, and a 45 strength for that. And what bump does is it just adds uh, more of an emphasis on your projection path. Next, we're going to go to the specular, and we're going to change it to a metal. The width we're going to put to 90, and the height we're going to put to 15. Then we're going to go to the specular color, and we're just going to change it to uh, a middle hue red, just like that. And then second to last, we're going to put a glow on this material. Uh, the inner strength is going to be a 20, and then the outer strength is going to be a 15. And then we're going to unclick Use Material Color, and we're going to make it a really dark red. Just like so. <clears throat> and then lastly, we're going to go to Displacement. We're going to paste our channel again. We're going to put the strength to 25 and keep the height at 5, just like that. And then we're going to click sub -hike on Displacement. And how we want to put this material on is we're going to drag our new material onto our logo. And then we're going to change the projection path to cubic. And then since it's a really big material, we're going to change the tiles to 5 each. So 5 for the U and 5 for the V. And then click Seamless. Then what we're going to do is just we're going to hit the 
uh, pre-render. And as you guys can probably tell, I've done this tutorial probably eight times in a row. And I just kind of wanted to blow through it. My other ones were taking like 13 minutes to 13 minutes to explain everything. And um, I just wanted, really wanted to get this video out. I want to show you guys how to do this. I thought this material looks really awesome. Um, expect some speed art soon because C2's computer is back up and running now. And um, I guess just expect more speed arts. Uh, not as many tutorials, although we still love posting tutorials. Um, our videos are doing really good as of recently. We know the Titanfall video wasn't everyone's cup of tea, but we are going to be posting more Titanfall content in the future. We have some plans to do like uh, bots, like 20 kills, and then trickshot last time bots with um, some buds from Obey, and then we plan on doing a few things with uh, Noah or Kezi if you don't know him already. Uh, we want to expand our content on our channel. And we want to become more self-sufficient and offer a different variety of content for you guys to view. And so, all in all in this tutorial, we created this awesome, different uh, grunge material. It's um, really etchy. The uh, displacement looks really cool on it. You can still obviously see the logo, but the way that the displacement is, it splits off the logo at the edges. And you'll see this like sort of outline. <coughs> um... Again, this has been C1. I'm asking for 150 likes on this video. I'll give you guys a mystery giveaway. And thank you guys for checking out our video. Be sure to subscribe. It's up in the top left. And thank you guys for checking out this video. Thanks.